Welcome to Independent Wealth Planner Strategies with Jennifer Lang, helping pre-retirees and retirees build, preserve, and protect their financial assets in today's volatile market. Sponsored by WFGInsuranceQuotes.com. Welcome to today's webinar. I'm Mike Payne, and your host for today is Jennifer Lang. Jennifer is an author, a speaker, and a licensed financial services professional who found her love for financial literacy the hard way. Her career goals were on track as she tackled the hustle and bustle of working in New York City as a corporate manager. That is, until life threw her a curveball that would change her direction. Her mother became ill, and Jennifer only had one choice. She left New York and became her mother's full-time caregiver. It was during this 10-year period that Jennifer learned firsthand the importance of how life insurance protects an individual and a family while they are alive, as well as how having essential estate planning documents can empower family members and relieve burdens. She found a new passion and purpose to help the underserved middle class protect against the emotional, physical, and financial stresses of caring for their loved ones. Currently, she works with businesses and families in all 50 states to acquire business loans, life insurance, and annuities. She is contracted through One Resource Group, and you can contact her through her website, wfginsurancequotes.com. So, without further ado, Jennifer, take it away. Thanks, Mike. I'd like to welcome and thank everyone for attending today. My name's Jennifer Lang. And this webinar is being recorded and will be available for rebroadcast later on. So please submit all questions via our website, wfginsurancequotes.com. The chat is open, so tell me your name and where you're from, and I'll get to questions as time allows. I see some familiar names in the chat box already. Hi, Bobby from Arkansas. Good to see you. Denise from Texas, good to see you too, yeah. I see Pam from Georgia, yeah, glad you made it, glad you made it. Thank all of you for joining. Today's webinar is entitled, Think Your 401k Beats an IUL. As Mike mentioned, a person can either learn things the easy way or they can learn things the hard way. And in my case, when my mom got sick, I learned the hard way. I, like most people, thought that life insurance was just something you had in order to pay for a funeral. I didn't know that it was such a powerful wealth accumulation and protection vehicle which could help you while you're alive. So I do these webinars and I speak to businesses and organizations because I want to help as many people as I can reach their hopes and dreams and avoid that financial learning curve that I went through. And as a token of my appreciation, Everyone on the webinar today will be given access to a free ebook that you can download after the call. I'm a part of an online educational program called safemoney.com. And at safemoney.com, it's a non-biased guide to retirement income planning and wealth protection strategies. And I wanted you to have access to the information on this website right away because this has been a tremendous resource for people that I'm working with. So regardless of where you are in your retirement journey, you'll find that there are many helpful pieces on there. So let's jump in. In the last decade, we had two major market crashes. Understandably, many working professionals worry about the long-term safety of their money. They may have retirement saving plans such as 401k plans at their disposal, but with its contribution limits, costly tax implications, and investment options, exposure to market risk, the 401k can be unseemly for conservative-minded savers. One trend we have seen is the growing use of IUL, or Indexed Universal Life Insurance, 
as an alternative to the 401k. To be clear, IUL isn't an investment strategy. It is a type of permanent life insurance. So be wary of discussions in which IUL is treated as an investment vehicle, especially relative to a 401k plan. With that said, IUL may be attractive to retirement savers, including younger professionals, on account of its more tax-efficient advantages over the 401k, among other benefits. Keep in mind, though, just like with any financial product, suitability will always depend on individual client needs, circumstances, and objectives. Here's a quick overview of Index Universal Life Insurance and how it can differ from a 401k as a wealth accumulating option. So, what exactly is an Index Universal Life Insurance Policy? Index Universal Life Insurance is a type of permanent life insurance. Within an IUL policy, there are two parts an insurance component and a cash value component. As premiums are paid, part of the premium is put toward the insurance part. This covers the costs associated with having insurance. The insurance part includes the death benefit coverage. The cost of insurance must be covered for the policy to stay in effect. The remaining premium goes into the cash value part. In turn, the cash value grows tax deferred. Once it has reached a certain point, withdrawals and loans can be made from the policy. Many index universal life policies come with two options for death benefit coverage, a level death benefit or an increasing death benefit. With the level option, your death benefit will stay a fixed amount. However, the cost of insurance will generally be less. The increasing death benefit option basically includes your face amount plus your cash value amount. That can give greater coverage over time. So let's break it down. Generally speaking, an index universal life policy allows you to put cash value amounts into a fixed component or toward growth potential linked to a specific index. The cash value grows inside the policy as a result of changes within an index. You may have a number of indices you can select for your cash value. The S&P 500 price index is most common in many IUL policies. However, there might be other broad index choices, including the Dow Jones Industrial Average or the NASDAQ 100. Here's how the cash value may grow. To be clear, insurers credit interest based on index activity. Premium dollars aren't invested directly into the index. When the index goes up, the cash value may earn interest based on a portion of the index's growth. However, if the index goes down, your cash value doesn't drop in value. An IUL policy comes with a floor or protection against index declines that assures the policy won't be credited negative interest. Many policies come with a floor of 0% which means your policy won't lose value when the index goes down. The flip side of the protection against losses is capped growth potential. Indexed universal life insurance may come with certain growth limits, including caps and participation rates. So, say your policy had a cap of 10%, and let's say the S&P index shot up 12%. The cash value would be credited just up to the cap of 10%. Likewise, if your policy had a participation rate of 80% and the index grew 12%, the cash value in your policy would grow by 9.6%. 
this interest earning ability generally gives Index Universal Life more growth potential than whole life insurance. Many IUL contracts use an annual crediting method called annual point to point. This method assumes a 365 day year. Once the starting date has passed, the insurance carrier waits a year for the anniversary date. It uses index values on the starting and anniversary dates as the basis for calculating interest. While many contracts have annual interest crediting, others may credit interest on a more frequent or less frequent basis. For example, some IUL policies might receive interest each month or even every five years. Crediting methods can vary based on insurance carrier and specific IUL contract details. You will be given the opportunity to check your IUL contract by reviewing the IUL illustration from your carrier. Many policyholders get Index Universal Life Insurance for cash value growth or as a forced savings plan while enjoying death benefit protection at the same time. And this can help with achieving many goals. Those goals may include funding key man employee insurance, a business succession plan, or college education expenses. Some people supplement their retirement income with IUL policy loans that have tax advantages. Some advantages of Index Universal Life Insurance may be, number one, you have more flexibility with your IUL policy than other life insurance options might give you. Number two, premium amounts may be adjusted, especially as your financial circumstances change. Number three, it gives retirement savers another tax advantaged bucket outside of qualified plans to build wealth tax deferred. Number four, the cash value grows tax deferred over time unless the policy is ceased before reaching maturity. Number five, with the possibility of indexed linked growth, you may enjoy higher interest crediting potential than with other life insurance options. Number six, the value of your policy is protected from negative index changes. Number seven, you can access your cash value for many reasons and goals. Number eight, cash value amounts can be used to pay for retirement via loans while being income tax free. Number nine, higher interest crediting potential may benefit those looking to maximize their estate or legacy wealth value for loved ones. And number 10, the policyholder controls the amounts of cash put into the fixed component and the index linked growth component. Having said that, index universal life insurance may also come with disadvantages, which may include index universal life policies can be more complex than other life policies. Premiums for an IUL policy will be higher than for whole life and term life policies. If the costs of insurance aren't covered, the policy will end. Caps and participation rates can limit the growth potential of cash value amounts. Cash value growth doesn't include dividends and outstanding policy loans come with interest. And if the policyholder dies, the outstanding loans are taken from the death benefit. Generally speaking, Index Universal Life Insurance is a long-term commitment. An IUL policy may be a better solution for people with the income and financial resources to cover ongoing premium payments. As you consider this option, Think over your needs, resources, goals, and situation. Why are you considering Index Universal Life Insurance? What goals do you have for it? For example, the reasons some people buy Index Universal Life Insurance are for, number one, maintaining financial security of dependents. Number two, 
lowering the tax obligation on their estate for their beneficiaries. Number three, creating a forced savings plan that builds cash value to pay for retirement. Number four, growing cash value amounts to pay for a new vehicle or other nice to haves. And number five, helping children or grandchildren with college tuition or costly educational expenses. And number six, being able to pay off the mortgage or other debt loads. Number seven, using the cash value for income in down market periods. And number eight, enjoying another tax advantaged bucket besides qualified retirement plans. Those looking at permanent insurance for estate planning goals may also want to consider IUL insurance. Since an IUL policy doesn't have as many guarantees built into it as a whole life policy has, you can get more death benefit protection. The following video compares an IUL versus a 401k and will take up the duration of the webinar, but it's worth watching. Three things can happen to you in your life. You live too long and outlive your money. You spend it all if you're sick, or you die too soon and leave it to your family. We really have some bad news if you have a 401k, an IRA, or a pension plan. The IRS wants you to think that qualified plans are the surefire way to prepare for your retirement. They entice you to max out your plans by giving you tax breaks right now and allow your money to grow tax deferred over the years but under their pretty packaging is just an empty box. Almost the worst course of action is making contributions to a qualified plan to save for your retirement. Because when you finally retire and need the money most, you're going to be taxed out of your mind. Then when you die, the IRS will hit you with a double tax whammy. They will tax your estate when you die and then tax the leftover amount inherited by your family. On top of the tax problems, you'll also have to deal with market volatility that can crush your portfolio. Just think about 2001 and 2008. What if there had been a way to avoid portfolio crushing downturns in the market, avoid enormous tax burdens during retirement, and virtually eliminate any worries you have about outliving your money during retirement? Rest easy, because there is a way, and we want to show you later on in this DVD. Let's get that retirement monkey off your back by showing you a better way an IRS-approved tax-friendly retirement savings vehicle that blows your qualified plan out of the water. They have been around for years. They're offered by the oldest, largest, and most financially sound financial institutions in the world and allow your money to grow tax-deferred, just like your current qualified plans. But they allow your money to be dispersed at retirement with zero taxes. Think about that. Zero taxes on your money, zero taxes on your estate when you die, and zero taxes when the money is inherited. Let that soak in. Zero taxes on your money, zero taxes on your estate when you die, and zero taxes when your family inherits the money. Zero, nada, zilch. And here's the best part. Unlike your qualified plans, there's no risk that you will lose principal or earnings during a down market. If the market tanks like it did in 2008, your worst case scenario is no gain, but no loss either. Basically, the retirement savings vehicle being described can help you avoid outliving your money during retirement. Excited? Interested right about now? We don't blame you because we're introducing you to the best retirement savings vehicle you've never heard of. Let's start with the IRS. They desperately want you to think that a qualified plan is the best way to grow your money for retirement. Guess what? It's not even close. I'm talking about IRAs, 401ks, 403bs, pension plans, and so forth. When compared to traditional investment accounts where you hold stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, qualified plans offer some valuable tax advantages. First, you can contribute to a qualified plan with pre-tax dollars. Second, you don't have to pay taxes on the gains every year like you do in traditional investment accounts, so your money grows tax-deferred. You have more money working for you during the years leading up to retirement and delayed paying the tax until you take the money out. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, I don't see how these qualified plans are so bad. 
You just said they offer valuable tax advantages compared to traditional accounts. Well, yes, but that's like saying a bicycle is the best mode of transportation. Of course, a bike is far better than walking, especially if you're trying to travel outside of your neighborhood. But what if you're trying to travel across town or cross country? You might want to try a car. And what if you're trying to get overseas? Walking or riding a bike is out of the question. You'd be much better off in a jet plane. So, just to make sure you're following the analogy, a regular brokerage account is like walking, lots of tax problems. A qualified plan is like a bicycle, better than walking, but not super helpful for long trips to retirement. The retirement savings vehicle we're about to introduce later in this DVD is like having your very own luxury private jet, fueled, fully stocked, and ready to go. Yes, it's that much better. One of the real secrets of money is understanding the difference between tax-deferred and tax-free. According to the IRS, the money you have right now in qualified plans is growing tax-deferred, which means that it will be taxed at some point in the future. Guess when that point is? That's right, when you retire and need the money the most. You probably won't be working. Tax rates will probably be higher than they are today. You won't have any deductions for kids or mortgage interest if your house is paid off. Which means that you'll be paying a huge percentage of your retirement income to the IRS in taxes. Which of course reduces the amount you have left over to spend on you. Uncle Sam. He's counting on you paying more than your fair share of taxes when you retire. How brilliant is that? Behind that pointed finger is a plan to give people a tax break today because who likes paying taxes anyway, right? Let the money grow tax deferred, so he can take a bigger chunk later. I'm all about paying my fair share, emphasis on the word fair, of taxes. But giving the IRS a bare minimum of $33,000 for every $100,000 you withdraw from your qualified plan at retirement is just plain ridiculous and almost criminal. Look, you've paid taxes and you will continue to pay taxes for your entire working career. Let's keep the government's hands out of our wallets during retirement, okay? Do you realize that $33,000 for every $100,000 you withdraw isn't a worst case scenario either? With the probability that tax rates will rise, it's likely a real world best case scenario. Any right thinking person can see that the tax rate of 40 or 50% isn't out of the question 15 or 20 years down the road. Why don't we circle back to that so-called jet plane of retirement savings vehicles? You know, the one that blows your qualified plan and regular investment account out of the water? Before we get into the nitty gritty about exactly what it is, let's talk about the perks of traveling in your luxury private jet. First, tax deferred accumulation. Year after year, your money grows, tax deferred just like a qualified plan and way better than your regular investment account. Compound interest can then work its magic, which allows your money to grow bigger and faster. Do we need to have a discussion about compound interest? If you're not familiar, just go to Google and type compound interest, the most powerful force in the universe, and find out about the greatness of compound interest. Second, tax-free distribution. Here's where your current qualified plan starts to really look unattractive. When you trade in that bicycle for the jet plane of retirement savings vehicles, your money not only grows tax deferred, but you can also distribute the money tax free. That means on the same $100,000 distribution, you keep all of it, regardless of the current tax rate. 30% tax rate? You won't care. You'll pay no taxes. 40 or 50% tax rate? Let everyone else worry about that. Your money can be used tax free. $100,000 means $100,000 to spend, not $67,000 or less. Which do you prefer? Third, tax-free wealth transfer. With a qualified plan and a regular brokerage account, your money will likely be taxed twice when you pass away. Great for the IRS, horrible for your family. The jet plane of retirement savings vehicles lands smoothly here too. Transfer tax rules are fairly complicated, and there are some limitations and exceptions. Ask a qualified professional to discuss your situation with you. Fourth, no risk of market loss. 
Remember when the stock market lost over half its value and your investment portfolio probably lost half or more of its value in less than 18 months starting in October 2007? Did you start having nightmares about never being able to retire? Being 80 years old and still working part-time saying, welcome to Walmart, or would you like to supersize that just to keep food on the table? Your qualified plan has no way to protect you from that kind of market volatility and downside losses. Ouch! Not true with the jet plane of retirement savings vehicles. The value in the account never loses altitude. When structured properly, there's no chance it will lose any principal or earnings. Not a dime. Not a penny. Nothing. Zero. Not a zilch. If you'd been on board with this in October 2007, your portfolio would probably look a whole lot better right now. I'll explain why and how in just a minute. Fifth, outliving your money during retirement. Every survey tells us that the fear of outliving their money is number one with baby boomers. And if you ask me, that fear should strike a chord with everyone that has a qualified plan. If you save $1 million and retire at age 65, that's pretty good if you only plan on living until you're about 70 or 75 and don't have any significant medical issues. But how do you stretch a million dollars or whatever amount you have saved for 15, 20, or 30 years, especially given the increase in the cost of living and the likelihood of needing specialized care if you do end up living into your late 80s or 90s? Not to worry if you ride the jet plane of retirement savings vehicles. When structured and funded properly, it'll keep on paying and paying and paying all through your 70s, 80s, 90s, and even beyond that if you're lucky enough to hit 100. You're more likely to hit 100 if you aren't stressed out over money. Time to get on board. And that's not everything. There's more than just tax advantages. We'll cover those in just a minute. But first, why don't we clear up that question I know you have. What's the catch? Okay. This all sounds great, it all makes a lot of sense, and I'm interested. But what's the catch? We all know that anything that sounds too good to be true probably is. I hear you. Between Enron, Bernie Madoff, and the great stock market meltdowns of the 2000s, now that's enough to make any rational person nervous. So a healthy dose of cynicism, skepticism, or both is not only understandable, it's just plain smart. But those who do not learn history are doomed to repeat it. And those who do not learn the truth about qualified plans are doomed to fall behind. Back to that catch you're wondering about. And trust me, it's more like six seconds of turbulence on your six-hour flight to retirement on your personal jet plane than a catch. Remember, different isn't always better, but better is always different. Just because you've never heard of this before doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Doesn't mean that hundreds of thousands of people aren't already using it. And doesn't mean that all of the advantages that we've talked about so far aren't absolutely real and just waiting for you. So here's the six seconds of turbulence. Per the IRS's rules, you must use after-tax dollars to pay for your luxury jet plane. The IRS won't let you deduct the amount of the contribution to your qualified plan from this year's taxes like you're used to doing. You have to fund your flight with after-tax dollars. That means if you were to contribute $6,000 this year to an IRA versus the jet plane of retirement savings vehicles, you'd in reality pay an extra $2,000 in taxes this year, assuming a 33% tax bracket. If you're in a lower tax bracket, naturally your tax savings would be less. That sounds like a drawback, right? Well, actually, no. To understand why funding with after-tax dollars instead of before-tax dollars like you would have with a qualified plan is not a drawback, you just need to understand the alternatives. Think about this. If you were a farmer, would you rather pay taxes on the small sack of seeds when you purchase them in the spring? Or would you rather pay taxes on your entire harvest when you sell it in the fall? Do the math. If a farmer bought $1,000 worth of seeds and was taxed at 8%, he'd pay 80 bucks. But if the farmer planted those seeds and paid the same 8% on a $50,000 harvest, he'd pay $4,000 in taxes. 80 versus 4,000. That's 50 times the amount of taxes paid. The same rationale applies to your retirement savings. 
In fact, the amount of money you save on upfront taxes with a qualified plan, remember, you'd save $2,000 in taxes by making a $6,000 contribution into a qualified plan, okay? will almost certainly be dwarfed to the taxes you'd pay at retirement, to the tune of 10 times, at least. Here's why. If your $6,000 grows to $100,000 over the course of the next 30 years, remember the magic of compound interest? This is very reasonable. You'll pay at least $33,000 in taxes on the harvest. We already talked about this earlier. That's $33,000 straight to the IRS, right when you need it the most. Would you rather pay $2,000 in taxes today or at least $33,000 in taxes later? It's as simple as the seed or the harvest. I've said it once and I'll say it again. No wonder the IRS loves qualified plans so much. It's their way of protecting Uncle Sam's financial future. Now that you know about some of the perks, let's go ahead and tour the rest of the luxury jet plane of retirement savings vehicles. Do me a favor and hear me out before jumping to any conclusions. Right up front, it might sound a little boring at first. That's because it's a life insurance product called Indexed Universal Life, or IUL for short. Stay with me. Don't be fooled by any of the stereotypes of what you may think an IUL is. This is not your father's life insurance. IUL is different than any kind of whole life or variable life or universal life plan that you may have heard about or purchased in the past. Hopefully the tax advantages and principal protection advantages we've told you about are clear enough and big enough to keep you interested. But you also need to know that the IUL, when structured and funded properly, blows your regular investment account or qualified plan out of the water. And any other kind of retirement savings vehicle in every comparison category that really matters, including growth potential, risk avoidance, liquidity of funds, flexibility of contributions, flexibility of distributions, longevity of distributions, and fees. Everything. Listen, insurance companies by law and by track record are extraordinarily conservative. Yeah, I know that AIG had some trouble and you might be thinking that all insurance companies are going bust. Nothing could be farther from the truth. Life insurance companies that offer IULs have massive, massive cash reserves. One company, as an example, had operating revenues in 2011 of $3 billion, cash reserves of almost $4 billion, and total assets of $23 billion. There's a reason why people think of life insurance companies as old, stodgy, conservative curmudgeons. Because they are. Their stodgy curmudgeonness is also a part of the reason you've never heard of an IUL before. Life insurance companies thrive with things like risk management, actuarial tables, and other boring life insurance stuff. But they don't know squat about communication. If you need a cure for insomnia, go online right now and read their brochures. They're just plain boring and hard to understand. And that's just the table of contents. But that doesn't mean that indexed universal life is anything less than outstanding for creating wealth. The IUL indexed universal life gets its name because it's indexed to the S&P 500, which simply means that it's linked to the growth of the S&P 500, which has averaged over 9% per year for the last 27 years, including all the crummy years in the 1980s the dot-com bust, right after 9-11 and 2007 and 8. Remember that? And the next best part. Here's what makes the IUL so attractive as a retirement savings vehicle. Ready for it? The reason the IUL accounts won't lose value is because the lowest guaranteed return is 0%. In technical terms, they have a floor of 0%. That's right, they can't lose money. If the stock market drops, plummets, loses for the year, your IUL contract doesn't take a big hit. It just stays right where it is. An IUL participates and locks in the gains during market up years, but doesn't participate in market down years. Take that 401k and IRA, you can't even come close to touching that. Everyone knows that investment losses are portfolio killers because you have to double up just to get back to where you were. You know, if you lose 50%, you need to make 100% to get even. You eliminate that risk with the IUL, since your floor or minimum return is 0% annual growth. No loss of principal or interest. Compare that to the devastating 38% loss of the S&P 500 in 2008. 
If you were indexing your IRA against the S&P 500 and therefore did not have the 0% floor like you would with an IUL contract, if you had a $1 million portfolio on January 1st of 2008, you would have ended the year with just $620,000. Ouch! Even with the big bounce back year of 2009, where the S&P returned 23.4%, the $620,000 you had left after getting killed in 2008 would have only grown to a little more than $765,000, still deep in the hole, not with an IUL. The other part of the catch is, the IUL offers the peace of mind of the account value protecting 0% floor. Zero is your hero but it does also cap the gains on the upside. That means when the market has a huge growth year, the IUL growth will be capped at somewhere in the 12 to 15% range, depending on the carrier and the contract. Don't bail out on me now. Trust me, this is not a big deal. In fact, quite the opposite. You've probably figured out by now that huge gain years almost always follow what? You got it, huge loss years. 2003, for instance, was great, 26.38% gain in the S&P 500, but it followed three consecutive years, 2000, 2001, and 2002, of negative returns, 10.14, 13.04, and 23.37% respectively, negative, all three years. Let's let the numbers do the talking. If you had $1 million in your IRA on January 1st, 2000, it would have fallen to approximately $899,000 at the end of the first year, then continued to fall to just over $781,000 at the end of 2001, and then plummeted to a measly $599,000 at the end of 2002. That same $1 million in a loss-protected IUL would have retained its worth at $1 million at the end of 2000, even though the market was down, remember? Still been worth $1 million at the end of 2001. And guess what? Still worth $1 million after 2002, even though the market got hammered. That's three consecutive down years and $401,000 in avoided losses. Which is more? Now, let's say you were with an IUL carrier in 2003 that had a 13% cap. Remember the big catch? It has a cap. Your $1 million would have grown to $1.13 million. It grew. Meanwhile, the qualified plan portfolio that tanked from $1 million down to just $599,000 would have gotten the full benefit of the 26.3% market gain, not the capped 13% like our IUL contract. Yay! But let me ask you this, would you rather add 13% to $1 million or 26.38% to $599,000? 26% added to $599,000 only brings the account up to about $756,000. Again, which is more? This is a no-brainer. At the end of the four-year cycle, you would have been ahead by over $350,000 with an IUL. This is real money in a worst-case scenario. The only way a qualified plan could possibly do better is if the S&P were to grow by over 15% per year for 5 or 10 consecutive years, with no negative years. Do you really think that's going to happen? And even in the 1 in a million chance that it did, get ready to pay the IRS when you retire. Throwing all these numbers around can really start to be a bit overwhelming, but it is critical for you to understand so you can avoid getting ruined financially when you retire. Don't hesitate to watch any part of the DVD again. We need to continue with the examples just a little bit further. We stopped our examples at the end of 2003. Remember, the IUL account that started with $1 million had weathered the storm and had grown to $1.13 million. The IRA account hadn't done so well. It had managed to eke back to $756,000, but only after a really strong 2003. Now, let's take a look at what happened in 2004, 5, 6, and 7. The S&P gained in this order, 8.99, 3, 13.62, and 3.53 in those four years. Your IUL account, since it's indexed to the S&P 500, and since three of the year's gains were between the 0% floor and the 13% cap, your IUL would have received all of those same gains, 8.99, 3, and 3.53%, 3 and received 13% of the 13.62% from 2006. 
That would take your $1.13 million account right to just shy of $1.5 million by the end of 2007. Pretty good, right? Then, when the S&P got pummeled by a 38.49% loss in 2008, since the lowest return your IUL account can get is a floor of 0%, guess what? The IUL account would have held steady at $1.5 million. No loss. Nice, isn't it? On the other hand, the IRA account would have grown from $756,000 to around $998,000 during those four years. Still down since 2000, just in time to get crushed down to $614,000 at the end of 2008. What would you rather have going into 2009? $614,000 or $1.5 million? Make no mistake, this luxury jet plane isn't for the ultra-conservative. It's a luxury jet plane for the ultra-intelligent. If you think market caps of 12 to 15 percent are a poor trade-off for a contractual guarantee of a zero percent floor, then you need to have your head examined. Naturally, past performance isn't an indicator of future results, but it's safe to say the market is going to have up years and down years. Protecting yourself from huge losses is one of the primary advantages of the IUL. It's impossible to overstate how superior the IUL is compared to your qualified plan. It's not even close. You've already had a crash course in IUL tax advantages. They're clear and evident. Avoiding market risk is huge, and it favors the IUL. By how much does it favor? By a country mile. Remember, as we mentioned earlier, indexed universal life is, remember, life insurance. What that means is, if you die the day after you fund an IUL policy, or any time thereafter, your heirs will receive an income tax-free death benefit. Additionally, while you're alive, the IUL has benefits in the event of a critical, chronic, or terminal illness. The amount of the benefit depends on the size and structure of your policy. But think about your qualified plan and brokerage accounts for just a minute. How much do they pay in insurance benefits if you die or have an illness? Oh yeah. Nothing, zero, nada, zilch, because they're not insurance. Are you starting to understand why IUL is the best retirement savings vehicle you've never heard of? There's another reason why you've probably never heard of an IUL before. We've already told you one of the main reasons was that stodgy old insurance companies have horrific communication skills. But there's actually a bigger reason, which is financial advisors almost never talk about IUL. Why is that? Simple math. Only licensed insurance agents can legally sell you an IUL, and most licensed money managers and brokers are not licensed to sell insurance. In other words, the guy who sells you your IRA can't, by law, sell you an indexed universal life policy. And if he can't sell it, he can't make any money on it. That's it. Your financial planner's motivation is to get you signed up for an IRA or a 401k and then make money on you for life or as long as you remain his client. They don't care about your future tax burden. Why should they? Seriously, call your investment advisor on the phone right now and ask about an IUL. Chances are 99% he or she has never even heard of it. And if they have, they have zero working knowledge of how or why it works. How would they know? They don't know insurance products. They like to think they have the corner on the market of helping people save enough money to retire. But they don't. They're selling skateboards, bicycles, or roller skates and pretending like the big shiny private jet doesn't even exist. When you separate fact from fiction, reality is the IUL is the most comprehensive way to plan for, save for, and protect your future financial security. For most people, and in most situations, it simply cannot be beat for tax advantages, safety, growth potential, liquidity, flexibility, and protection. One more thing, and then we'll let you get back to the licensed insurance professional who gave you this DVD. Last but not least, let's talk about how the IUL works. It is a life insurance policy. You make monthly or annual premium contributions into your account. You can even contribute large lump sums of money to jumpstart the savings potential. You'll need to work with your advisor to determine the optimal amount for your situation. It'll vary depending on how many years you have left until retirement, your financial goals for retirement, and your current financial situation. 
The money you contribute to an IUL, as we've discussed, will grow on a tax-deferred basis, and unlike a qualified plan, you may access your money anytime, at any age, for any reason you want or need it, without incurring income tax or tax penalties. That's called real flexibility. When you do pass away, the balance of the account will be paid to your beneficiaries income tax-free in the form of a death benefit just like with any other life insurance policy. It's time to unfriend old plans because the IUL really does offer the absolute best of all possible scenarios. It's safe from loss. It gives you flexible access to your money at any time for any reason. It's tax friendly and provides protection. All right, now that you've toured the luxury jet plane, now that you know the luxury jet plane of retirement savings vehicles is available to you, the next step is yours. All you need to do is meet with the licensed insurance professional who gave you this DVD and discuss your specific situation. He or she will answer all of your questions. You may want to consider watching this DVD again. This time, write down any notes or questions you may have. Like anything else worthwhile, there are plenty of details to be covered and there is a bit of a learning curve. But whatever you do, don't do nothing. You know the old saying, people don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. You know what we mean. You intend to make the call and learn more, but you get too busy with everyday life. And when you look up a couple of weeks, a few months, or even years have passed, and you haven't done anything and you've fallen behind. Set that appointment now. Meet with the insurance professional who gave you this DVD and take a closer look at the jet plane of retirement savings vehicles. Index Universal Life. No matter what type of insurance you may get, it should help you fulfill your goals. This discovery process starts with asking and answering questions. Are you considering life insurance for income or financial protection? Do you plan to use it for more than just death benefit coverage? If so, what other goals might you have for it? If you just need life insurance for financial protection, you may want to consider term life insurance. The pure death benefit protection could be a better fit for what you need. Term coverage is available for time spans ranging from 10 to 30 years. However, if you are concerned about high cost items like health care and retirement, permanent options like IUL insurance should be considered. Many Index Universal Life policies come with insurance riders, including living benefits. With these benefits, you can accelerate your death benefit to pay for terminal illnesses, home health care, long term care, and other needs. So, in summation, as you plan your retirement, your investments need to not only grow, but also fund your lifestyle, keep pace with inflation, be protected from market risk, and last as long as you do. Just like we're told not to put all of our eggs into one basket, a diversified retirement plan with multiple buckets will help you hedge against those risks. As you shop around and do your research, working with a trusted financial professional can bring efficiency and clarity to your retirement planning. A great agent will walk you through the entire process. Our agents have helped hundreds of individuals reposition their retirement savings into the safety and security of Index Universal Life policies. Contact us if you're establishing a retirement plan or if you have recently retired and are no longer contributing to your retirement savings account, you can contact us. We can show you your options to ensure that your retirement is as hassle-free and predictable as possible. Well, unfortunately, I'm limited by time, but as a token of my appreciation, everyone on the call will have access to a free ebook from safemoney.com entitled Retirement Simplified Roadmap. This way, you'll be able to grab a hold of retirement planning strategies I wasn't able to cover in this webinar. Simply go to my Safe Money membership page by logging on to Independent Wealth 
planner.com and scroll down to the ebook section. We actually have three books available right now. Feel free to download whatever booklet interests you. I've been getting a lot of positive feedback about the three booklets, and since I'm a member, there's never a cost to you. Just let them know I referred you. So where it says enter the name of the referring advisor, just type in Jennifer Lang and you can get the book for free. Also at SafeMoney.com, you'll be able to view articles and learn more about life insurance and retirement planning. We have loads of information and content available for free on this website. Simply log on to my member page, independentwealthplanner.com to get access to all these resources for life insurance and retirement information. And of course, if you have any questions or would like to have a free financial needs analysis done, contact me via my website, wfginsurancequotes.com. And as a special note, we have a new website designed to service all 50 states. If you go to www we shop insurancequotes.com. We can take care of all of your life insurance and annuity needs no matter where you live in the United States. Simply log on to we shop insurancequotes.com for life insurance and annuities and I'll be happy to help you. Well thank everyone for attending and have a great day. Until next time. I've had this problem. Big problem. I really, really needed a good insurance provider. And I kept searching and searching. Ah, there are so many choices. It's really hard to find one that has all the things on my list. But I finally did it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. If you were looking for one as well, look no further. Here's a really good one. Just use mine. Use mine. I'm very satisfied. Definitely recommend. Problem gone. Thank you. Don't you hate it when that happens to you? When it does, you need this and this and this. When it happens to me, I always know where to go. When you've got professionals on your side, your problems don't stand a chance. What are you waiting for? Contact them today and let them take care of your problems. <laughs>